Hello, Shelley here. I'm going to talk today about how to count crochet stitches in different situations. So the first thing we need to think about is what we're actually counting. So I'm just going to look at the regular stitch, the most common stitch here, which is a treble in UK terms or a WS terms. If I put my fingers, pull it apart a little bit and in between my thumb, can you see there's like a capital P shape? That is one stitch. So there's a post I'm going to point to here. There's the post. And then there's this little sort of bit on the top and my needle is in like the top of the capital P. And you can see if I turn it up, it's kind of like a little V shape. So that's what we want to count. We can either count the top of the stitch, the V, or the post of the stitch. Now, different situations call for different ways of counting. So for in this example, when you just got a, a shape without any corners, I would suggest that before you join it, you count your stitches. So I usually work from the back, last stitch, from the very first stitch to the last stitch. But it doesn't matter, you can go the other way if you wish. I like to count the tops of the stitches. So there's, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and this is 36, which is the correct number. So that's pretty easy when you've got a small shape with not many stitches. So that's easy, done. Let's look at a square shape though. All right, so this is a, a, the first three rounds of a solid granny square. It's from Granny Square Academy. And the stitch counts in this pattern I list as so many stitches along the side and how many corner spaces there should be. So again, we need to identify what we're counting. And if you have trouble seeing where the corners and things are, then you can pop a stitch marker in the corners before you start. That's one way. And then if you can see, look again, look for that capital P. So that's your first capital P. And this is your last capital P. So you can count with your fingers or a needle, whatever you like. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which is what this pattern should have. Ten stitches on each side with four two chain corner spaces. So that's one, two, three, four. Now to check the, that you've got two chains, not that it really matters, but if you want to be absolutely correct, if you can pop a stitch marker in the last stitch of that side, I'll just take this one out, and in the first stitch of this side, you should be able to see that there are two chain, one, two, in between those stitches. Now, just a quick word about stitch markers. I'm using these ones, my favorites, but you can use a lot of different things as stitch markers. You can use a safety pin, ones that come on your clothes, there's so many different sorts. Oops, little plastic ones, plastic safety pins. And I've got another couple I'll show you in another example there. It doesn't matter what you use, but when you do use them, remember that capital P. And when you're sticking one in a stitch, hook it in exactly as you would if you were working into it. So go into the V from the front to the back. And that just identifies that stitch really well. Just a little hint there. Okay, so that's how you count a small square size shape. But what about a different pattern? Okay, so this one here is a pattern from my Granny Square Patchwork book called Diadem. And there should be eight repeats of seven stitches and eight two chain spaces. So rather than counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14, 14, 14, all the way around, you can just count each repeat on its own. So just make sure that each one of these sets has seven stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And count to seven this time each time around and check in between again if you need to identify your last and first stitch to check the chain spaces. That's the last stitch. That's the first stitch. So there are two chain in between. So I know I need eight repeats, so I should have eight sets. So, and I know I forgot two in all of them, so I just have to count the points. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All good. My stitch count will be correct. Relatively easy. All right, let's look at a more complex pattern that uses different stitches 
in a repeat. So we've got front post stitches in between these two front post stitches. We've got a small stitch and we've got lots of trebles, UK, doubles, US around. So I can read the pattern and know that each repeat has 10 stitches in it. So I've put a stitch marker in the first stitch of each repeat. So this counts as number one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And my next one has a stitch marker in it, great. So again, count to 10 each time around to make sure you have the right number of stitches in each repeat. And there should be six repeats, so there should be stitch, six stitch markers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times 10 is 60, which is the right stitch count for this round. Done. All right, what about a larger circle? Nice and easy when you just got to count to 30 or so. This one here has uh, 84 stitches. And if you're like me, you're going to get distracted halfway around and wonder if you counted 10 or 15 or whatever. So what I've done here is I have placed, again, I haven't joined before I started joining, before I started counting, and I've placed a stitch marker every 10th stitch. So this round there should be 84 stitches. So I should have eight markers. So let's count by 10s, 10, 20, 30. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and there should be four stitches left because there's 84 at the end. One, two, three, four. Easy. Done. All right. So that's with a large circle. What about a large square? So this is the Mayan square available in Granny Square Patchwork. Yep. <laughs> and this one I have used, there should be 75 stitches, sorry, yes, 75 stitches along each side. And I've used a few different stitch markers here to show you. I've put one every 10 stitches. So I've identified my two chain space, looked for my first P, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and put one in the tenth one. So that's a little plastic split ring. I've just used a bobby pin here. It works perfectly fine. A paper clip. No drama at all. A little plastic safety pin type. Um, one of these, look, they're very cute and all that but they're a bit of a pain to actually in and out i would actually prefer something that slides in easily there's another little type of slide in stitch marker that locks there it's cute little heart and back to my favorite one so as i said there should be 75 stitches so 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 and i should have five stitches left at the end one two three four five done. So that's all my hints and tips about um, counting stitches that way. There's just one more little thing I want to share and that is if you have a long row. So you might have a be working a rose blanket um, and you might need to cut to chain you know 300 and something stitches to start. So what you can do is it doesn't matter what number it is you choose for your interval as long as it's the same. So in this instance, I've chosen to put a stitch mark every 20 chain. So you can do it as you go so that, you know, you don't have to keep going back to count how many you've got. So 20, 40, 60. And just do your chains. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So where you put your stitch marker is in the one, not the loop that's on your hook, but that chain that you just made underneath it. So there we go. So now I know I've got 2, 4, 6, 80 chains and you can keep going that way. So there you go. There's my hints and tips on counting crochet stitches. I hope it's been a bit of a help for you because it, it should save you some frogging if you make sure you have the right stitch counts. There you go. Thank you.